I want to read today what I think is an amazing passage. I want us to consider it. It's short, but man, it is powerful. Psalm 25, verse 14. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him. He teaches them his covenant. The Lord is a friend to those who fear him. Just think about it. We can be a friend of the creator God. We can be a friend of the one who created all things and then breathed into man the breath of life. Friend to those who fear him. Let's think about that. Fear and friendship. They, those words normally don't go together, do they? How, how can you have a friendship with the Lord and fear him at the same time? Doesn't fear cause us to run away? Isn't friendship for those who stay close? Well, certainly for some, fear and friendship do not go together. Sin has created a gap between us and the holy God, and the, and the gap of sin leaves us separated from God. God's final judgment on sin and sinners is forever. Man's sin problem, re, his rebellion, produces fear, or certainly should. However, God loves us so much that he did something to bridge the gap. He sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. And Jesus took the Father's judgment for our sins on himself. He bore his our sins in his body on the cross. Jesus, with Jesus, fear is our uh, honoring God and, and respecting God and demonstrating our, our thankful obedience to God. So my question to you today is this, you, are you a friend of God? Is God your friend? Have you trusted in him alone as the only way to have a relationship with Jesus Christ? All right, I wanna pray this prayer. And if you haven't trusted in Christ as the only way to have a relationship with God, join me in this prayer. Make it your own. You ready? Dear God, uh, right now, I, uh, I want to I be your friend. I want you to walk with me. Uh, I want that gap between us bridged. And I know that can only be bridged by Jesus who, who came and died for me on the cross. And so I acknowledge that. I'm a sinner. I'm I live in rebellion against you. There's a great separation between me and you because of my sin. And so I'm praying that, that Jesus bridges that gap for me. I trust him as the one to bridge the gap for my sin. I trust today in Jesus. And I pray in his name. Amen. Well, I hope you prayed that prayer. I pray you've prayed that prayer. You can become a friend of God. If we can help you in any way, let us know and uh, keep joining us as we look at passages that bring comfort and strength. See you next time.